Hey guys, I'm here to uh, let you know about a uh, new video release for Lightwave 11.5. Uh, the topic for today is Genoma Rigging Volume 4. In uh, this tutorial, we show you how to uh, rig a dog using uh, Lightwave 11.5's Genoma Rigging Tools. So we basically, it's a project-oriented uh, tutorial. We, uh, we start off in Modeler, show you how to use the uh, various uh, pr uh, Genoma presets and sub-rigs, how to connect them together and to create a complete uh, dog rig. So as you can see here, it comes loaded full of controls so that you can pose it, so on and so forth. Um, but what we do in the video is we show you how to alter the rig so that it actually conforms to the dog and how to properly set that up. So, uh, so this is what it looks like uh, in Modeler here. You can see that the, uh, the Genoma rig is being uh, set up inside of the dog aligned, aligned up to the, uh, the, the actual polygon mesh. So um, it's uh, considering that it's a pre that it basically it's a combination of presets made together. It's it's actually uh, very powerful. Those of you who hate rigging or do not want to learn uh, traditional rigging, uh, Genoma is a is a great uh, great way to start into rigging. You still have to know some things though. It's not just snap your fingers and everything's amazing. You still have to know things like uh, how to apply weight maps, so on and so forth. I found that sometimes some of the demonstrations of Genoma kind of led people to think that your character will be rigged with a snap of a finger. Um, a lot of the demonstrations that are being shown are, they're not showing an actual polygon mesh combined with the actual uh, the actual uh, Skeleton rig that's created in uh, in Modeler. So there are there are a few gotchas here and there, um, but uh, the actual creation of the rig is fairly simple and straightforward. There are a couple things you do have to know. We do go through that in the video, but uh, the real trick is you know making sure that it works properly with the mesh and we're going to sort of we go through some different things in the video on uh, how to make sure it's working properly and uh, some if there if for some reason it doesn't def the mesh it doesn't deform correctly uh, some dif different options on how to go about correcting that so uh, anyways for those of you who are looking to get started uh, rigging uh, quadruped style characters this is a great video for you to check out once again, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dSoftware.com. We'll see you again soon.